Hello everyone, my name is Rampage and I'm just going to get straight into the video. So I've seen a lot of people talking about Desperate Roar Plus, which is Tigrex's longsword, and how good it is in comparison to the Abyssal Flicker. So the Tigrex longsword has 10 more attack and 10% more affinity, but it has bad sharpness. It still does get purple, but its main problem is keeping that purple sharpness. So what I did is I made a build with both weapons. We're going to see how they compare. So first up we have the Abyssal Flicker build with 492 attack and 21 dragon element. And it hits for 1896 damage. So next up we have the Desperate Roar Plus build with 499 attack and no element. And it hits for 1883 damage. If you're wondering why the Abyssal Flicker hit harder than Desperate Roar Plus, even though Desperate Roar Plus had more raw attack, the answer is because of the element on the Abyssal Flicker. So while Desperate Roar Plus has a bit more raw attack, Abyssal Flicker will often do more damage anyway, just because of that little bit of extra dragon that's there. And with the Desperate Roar Plus, you also have to worry about the sharpness, because you only get 20 hits of purple which means that you're going to have to constantly be using Protect the Polish to keep your purple. However, both weapons do a lot of damage, and they are pretty close together in damage. So if you want to use one over the other, just because of how good it looks, then you could definitely do that and lose very little damage. But from my testing, Abyssal Flicker will always do a tiny bit more damage than Desperate Roar Plus. For the first build, I'm using the Abyssal Flicker, and I recommend they use one of the Anti-Jewels or the Exploit Jewel, depending on which monster you are hunting. For the Helm, I'm using the Arc Fiend Armor Kerito with two Expert Jewel 2s. For the Chest, I'm using the Baryoth Male X with two Expert Jewel 2s and a Grinder Jewel 1. For the Arms, I'm using the Baryoth Van Braces X with an Expert Jewel 2 and a Grinder Jewel 1. For the waist, I'm using the Goss Harag Coil X with the Tenderizer Jewel, Grinder Jewel 1, and a Steadfast Jewel 1. For the legs, I'm using the Arc Fiend Armor Scaros with a Tenderizer Jewel 2 and two Critical Jewel 2s. For the Talisman, I'm using a Wirebug Whisper Level 3, Partbreaker Level 2 with a Level 3 slot and two Level 1 slots, and I put a Critical Jewel 2 and two Steadfast Jewel 1s in those slots. And these are all the skills in total. For the second build, I'm using Desperate Roar Plus. And for the Rampage slot, I recommend they use one of the Anti Jewels or the Exploit Jewel, depending on what monster you are hunting. So for the second build, I'm using Desperate Roar Plus, and I recommend they use one of the Anti Jewels or the Exploit Jewel, depending on which monster you are hunting. For the head, I'm using the Arc Fiend Armor Carrot with a Wire Belt Jewel plus 4 and a Sheath Jewel 2. For the chest, I'm using the Baryoth Male X with two Tenderizer Jewel 2s and a Grinder Jewel 1. For the arms, I'm using the Baryoth Van Braces X with a Critical Jewel 2 and a Grinder Jewel 1. For the waist, I'm using the Sailor Skirt with a Critical Jewel 2. For the legs, I'm using the Arc Fiend Armor Skeros with a Critical Jewel 2, Furrier Jewel 2, and an Expert Jewel 2. For the Talisman, I'm using a Critical Eye Level 3 with a Level 3 slot and the Level 1 slot, and I put an Expert Jewel 2 and a Grinder Jewel 1 in those slots. And these are all the skills in total. For the Dango Food skills, I would recommend Dango Weakener, Dango Booster, and Dango Moxie. But if you want to decrease the health drain caused by Dereliction, you can switch out Dango Moxie for Super Recovery Dango. If you don't have that dango unlocked, you can unlock it by completing the 6 star quest Sticky Secret Sticking Sauce. And if you don't have this quest unlocked yet, that just means that you have to do more quests. One of my friends also found this image that shows which anti-species rampage tool works on each monster, so you can use this if you want a quick reference guide. I would recommend just screenshotting this. So if you found this video helpful or entertaining, consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and I have more videos like this coming soon. Also, if you made it this far into the video, I want to let you know that I really appreciate you and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.